their email address and they, it invites them. Uh, you can share it. You, the I shares the link. So it gives you all the details for this and you can add a passcode for the, the meeting. Um, and then more actions. Uh, there's some clever stuff in here, Matthew, like we can, we can share stuff to. So, YouTube. so, uh, if, if, for example, somebody is traveling and is not in front of, doesn't have access to this link, they're basically on mobile phone or just yeah. a normal phone. Uh, can I invite them? Yeah, you can, you can invite yourself. Do you want to invite yourself? Just if you, if you click on the, uh, on the far right hand side, you'll see one that by the four boxes, there's an invite to people. Yeah. If you click on that, you can basically, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'll invite your mobile phone if you want. You can just dial in. That's simple. You can literally dial in. Okay. Let me, let me just, uh, so there's the, there's the details. I'll, I'll send, I'll share it on the screen. The one connecting you to your conference, please wait. There you go, there you are. Okay, that's interesting. It's, it actually okay. works. <laughs> <Don't be quite laughs> <bad. laughs> I, can, I can mute you. There you go, I've just muted you. No, no, I uh, I muted you yourself. Myself. Yeah, I mean, Matthew, uh. We did this thing the other day where I can control Matthew's PC. So if Matthew gives me, I can ask Matthew for remote control. Okay. There you go. And I've now got control of Matthew's PC. So you so can actually I, you can actually use this one as support tool. You could do it, Matthew. Potentially, yeah. Because uh, you got access to the control screen, so you could get them can um, let them join. That's me doing his screen, by the way. Yeah. And if, if you go out of the YouTube, just so you can stream to YouTube as well. How, how does this one work? So no. if you, uh, when you, how did you, did you take over Matthew's screen? So there's a, there's an option if you're running the application that you can, um, pick on a user, yeah. so you're the, you're the little dot essentially. Oh, and you okay. Can, and you can ask to, um, share the screen. So if I, Although Andy's keeps taking my mouse away. All right, you, you take it back. Okay, I'll, I'll share my screen, Carol, and you'll yeah. see it. Okay, so if I share my screen. So is I, this is this function that's available only to whoever controls the meeting? No, you, Matthew, you could share my screen if you wanted to. Could you do mine? Could you control mine? Actually, I'm just looking at here about remote user control, so it might well be for the administrator because I can't do it to you. Okay, so I can control you, but you can't, unless you've got the latest version, haven't you? Yeah, I'm running 6.3. You're in, you're in beta, right, okay, so Kirill, it's not, that. I'm going to give you the caveat, I believe that's in beta stroke alpha, right, because I haven't got, I've got the production one, that's what I've got. So his is popping up and saying I can control him, which is quite good. Um, oh, because he has different, uh, but you cannot control my computer. No, I can't control yours. No, you're yeah. right. So it'd have, it'd have to be, um, it looks like it may well be application based. So you're right. If you've got a third party joining, and they're joining via the web page, there won't be uh, remote control. Yeah. All right. Hang on. Can you give me? Okay. In, in the app we give you, because you'll get an app with this. If I, if I show you this, I share my screen so you can actually see. Um, I'll do it. I see. Now share my whole screen. That might be easier. Okay, so I share that. You're going to see yourself go zoom, zoom, zoom. It's going to be mad, right? Okay. So if I show you that, that basically in the app, yeah, that we have here, um, I have. Uh, so this is this the is the, this is the standard client. Yeah. No. This is standard client for it. Yeah, no, no. It's is a standard eight by eight client. 
It's a standard 8 byte client, yeah, basically. Um, I mean, I just installed uh, the latest client on my PC. How is, uh, yeah. How is the motor connected to a laptop? And you could be, able, you should be able to do this. Well, you shouldn't be able to do it. You should be able to join from this if you needed to. So the the Jitsi rollout is currently in new customers and us. So you're. Is that you're, right? Yeah. So the, so, you, so the existing people will be rolled out shortly. I say shortly over the coming months, um, which is why you won't have access to it. We do. Okay. Okay. So that that's where that is. But yeah. So effectively, what we would do is give you three hundred versions of this software, for want of a better word, and they could use it. I mean, I would say the remote control thing. I think that's a new thing. I would be concerned to say to you, yeah, yeah, it's going, it's got it, right? Because it's not been any documentation that I've actually seen. I've just seen it on Matthews. That's all. So he's got no, beta. No, I mean, uh, the reason the reason why I'm asking is. We use various third-party uh, remote control uh, tools, and this is this is both on operation side and um, in the IT side. So, if this is available, this could be actually very good. I mean, we use like okay. Webex or sometime TeamViewers or sometime completely. Yeah. I'm not sure what exactly we're using, but we're using some some dodgy applications to do a job. Okay, so we need to check the remote we'll control. Check. Actually, the reason you couldn't do it is because I was still sharing my screen. I can now ask you. I can't ask Kirill, so it's by the remote control. Can you, you ask me? I can ask you now. Yeah. You can do it to me. Yeah. yeah. Can, I, can I stop sharing my screen? Oh yeah, it does it allows me to ask Matthew? Would like to allow you to see again, Matthew? Breaking up. You can have. You can have that screen. So, Carol, it, it's application basis. I assume most of the, the people you're speaking to, will they be using Chrome to connect or will they be using the desktop application? I mean, I'm using Firefox at the moment, so it's going to be either Chrome or Firefox. Um, and that's... And that's, that's uh, I would imagine, will be the case everywhere. So it's going to be the VOD. Chrome or, or, or Firefox. OK, so we, we just need to confirm yeah, where you're going to have remote control, Andy, because I'm assuming it's probably going to be related to the VOD rather than the third party users. Yeah. Now, we, just need to make, we need to confirm remote control. Yeah. OK. Um, and Matthew, there is a list of all the countries that you can we can basically have them dial into, isn't it? That's yeah, really right. standard. So you Click on your information button. Yeah. And then you got more numbers. Oh, more numbers. Yeah, more numbers. That's all the numbers that we've got for conference bridges around the world. Oh, that's brilliant. Look at that. Uh, yeah, if you scroll down, there is definitely an India one. There it is. There yeah. So it's already there, Kirill. You know, all these different countries they can dial into. OK. Brilliant. That's 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 fine. That will work, I guess. So I'm going to ask you the optimum question, yeah. which is uh, how much do you want to pay for it? Because I have to go and get this signed off. Because you're you're going to get this and other things, but we're going to we're just going to sell you this. Yeah, if that makes sense. I, I mean, I I wouldn't know uh, how much I want to pay. <laughs> I know. I, no, the reason is the reason is I know how much I pay for for something different. Yep. But but I wouldn't know how much I I have to pay for this. Okay, well the, the, the reason I say that, the reason I'm saying that was more of a it was more to say that um if I sell it as the X two package, there is a list price for that. But you don't want X two, you just want the meetings part of it. So I have to go into bat to say to them, Okay, X two costs let's say it costs uh twenty five pounds, the meeting element of X two it's probably nine pounds. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So I, I would say I'm going to go in and say they, they will, they would like 300 X twos at nine pounds, and this is the justification. But they will sign that they are only going to use it for meetings. Okay. I mean, if it, if it helps you, because some of these users will, will already have an eight by eight uh, number. So for some of them, will be just added uh, functionality. Oh, brilliant! Uh, In that case, yeah. So.